Meadow sweet is one of the most characteristic and widespread wildflowers of wetlands and it often occurs in spectacular abundance. It's a member of the rose family which might be a surprise until you look at the individual flowers with a hand lens or a magnifying glass and you'll see that they are like tiny roses. But Meadowsweet has moved away from using the individual flowers as the unit of attraction for pollinators in favour of these dense clusters of tiny flowers which can be readily seen from a distance. The flowers have a powerful almond-like smell and, like dog rose, they produce no nectar but are visited by numerous insects, mainly bees and hoverflies, for their abundant pollen. Honeybees are often seen moving busily over the flower clusters, gathering the abundant pollen with the minimum of effort. The stamens mature successively from the outside in, so that in newly opened flowers a tall ring of outer stamens surrounds a central knot of immature stamens curled protectively over between four and nine carpels at the centre of the flower, which look like a cluster of bananas twisted spirally around each other. The carpels mature only when the last of the stamens have shed their pollen. The highly distinctive fruits are follicles, which are dry fruits that split down one side to release the seeds. Meadowsweet was used in all sorts of ways in earlier times. Bunches of the plant were strewn on the floors of houses to sweeten the air. Uh, a fragrant water was distilled from the flowers and it was used to give an aromatic bouquet to wines and spirits. The roots could be pounded up to form a meal that was mixed with flour, especially in times of scarcity, in order to make it go further. And in days when pigs had the run of the land, they were also very fond of the roots. Among its medicinal uses was against malaria and arthritic complaints. The English name meadowsweet is not, as you might think, the sweet plant of the meadows or sweet flower of the meadows, but mead sweet. A plant that was used to sweeten or flavour mead which is an alcoholic drink made from honey. It was also used to sweeten the churn after butter making, which was a regular task on the farm in days gone by. But I particularly like the Irish name. The Irish name is Arigid Luokra, the silver among the rushes.